Hey everybody, Movie Reviewer Next Door here, and I have three more hauls to get to. This one's included in those three. But yeah, um, this haul I made separate, even though it's still a Dollar General haul, because it, it was a new batch that we got. We got a movie refill. Sorry, I'm fidgeting a bit. But um, we got a movie refill, and I had to put it out, and there were extra movies there. I'm gonna try to upload the video. We didn't get to keep it more than a day. Uh, my manager put out the movies. I'm fine with it though. I mean, it didn't take me long to make it, but I thought it was... I found an interesting solution and I wanted to share it with people in case they come across the same issue. But yeah, um, all of these movies are from that new refill, so I wanted to separate them. So I guess I'll just start. Crown and Anchor. I've never heard of this film. Apparently it was made in Newfoundland and not a lot of movies get made there. It seems to be a crime film. Um, big interesting thing for me is this actress on the back looks kind of like a mix between Julianne Moore and Carrie Ann Moss to me. So yeah, I'm very interested. Also featuring music by Hog Gog, Gorilla Biscuits, Project X, Side by Side, Youth of Today, and many more. Interesting. Uh, I wonder who those people are. I'm guessing they're from Newfoundland. And that's cool if a Newfoundland movie can get Newfoundland bands out there. But yeah. This one I'm very curious about. Um, Tailgate. Made in 2019, or released in 2019, um, put on DVD in 2021. I'm curious about that because the Russell Crowe film uh, Unhinged came out in 2020. So I'm wondering if that was an unofficial remake of this because it has basically the same exact plot readout. But yeah, this one is Dutch. So I'm still curious about this. It's also not that long. It's 86 minutes. In the Earth, directed by Ben Wheatley. I've heard good things about Ben Wheatley. I have another film of his over there. It's an error video release. The The Ghoul. Sam. Curious uh, about if I will like his directing style. <laughs> kind of breezing through these. The Patriot old-timey uh, touchstone widescreen DVD I have heard only bad things about this but people shit on movies like action movies all the time but yeah I got it for the Steven Seagal collection I haven't seen many Steven Seagal movies but yeah very curious about it it's all about a virus uh, being spread all over the town very interesting. I remember everyone hating this movie. Friend Request. Never seen it. I don't know any of the actors in it other than William Mosley, which is not an actor that I really like. He was in the Narnia movies and he was in a movie I recently saw called The Courier, which I did get on DVD. But uh, Olga Kraylink was in it, so of course. Um, but yeah, I don't remember if I've seen it. It's got horrible reviews, but yeah. It's curious to rewatch it. If I even watched it. The Battleship Island. I've been enjoying some of these CG, CJ Entertainment DVDs. The first one I ever got was a Blu-ray of Assassination, which I don't remember if I finished that one. I think it was like really long and I wasn't getting into it, but they seem to be well packaged and they're not horribly priced. Ugh. Sorry if I'm kind of breezing through these already. Not too much to say. Dazed and Confused. Got it for Mila Jovovich. There's a bunch of up and coming, up and comers in this film, Ben Affleck, Matthew McConaughey, Parker Posey, uh, lots of people who are really 
like I mean it's it's film history or whatever I'm curious about it to see an early Mila Jovovich film Quiet Place Part 2 previously viewed ugly ass banner in the top but I'm still curious about this film. I haven't seen the first yet. I have the first on Blu-ray. Yeah, still, still looking forward to it. Riddick collection. I got it specifically for Chronicles of Riddick, and it has the unrated director's cut, which is nice. Um, it also has uh, the. Chronicles of Riddick Dark Fury, but it lists it in the wrong place. It lists it down here as being 2 hours and 14 minutes, and Chronicles of Riddick, the movie, being 35 minutes, so they're switched. But yeah. Um, Pitch Black and Dark Fury are on the same DVD. But yeah. Still looking forward to seeing all those. And here are some uh, Echo Bridge collections. I'm not expecting to watch all of these anytime soon, but Human Trafficking plus The Forgotten Man, Steel Toes, Death Dreams. Two of those are TV movies. One of them is not all three of them. Not all four of the movies have to do with human trafficking. Just the first one. I have that on a separate DVD pack, also from Echo Bridge, I think, or Mill Creek, one or the other basically the same. Also, fucking Echo Bridge owns PM Entertainment films. They own all of them. And they're just not releasing them. I hope they never release them. I hope they outsource them to someone who actually gives a shit about video quality. But yeah. Sometime I might watch these. I'll definitely watch Human Trafficking. I know how big of a supporter Mira Sorvino is for getting stopping human trafficking shit. So yeah. action collection featuring Steven Seagal and Driven to Kill. I've heard that that is his highest rated direct video film. And I remember thinking it was eh, like very meh. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, the Legend of Red Dragon, Tunnel Vision, Road of No Return, Con Games. Bunch of movies I've never heard of before. But that's what you get with uh, Echo Bridge. But it was like two bucks. So. Bunch of horror movies. Most have never heard of. Happily Divorced Season 1. This only lasted a season. So. I want to watch this again. It's only 220 minutes, so I could probably binge it in an evening. Replicas, heard bad things about it. Still curious. Keanu movie. Forty-seven meters down. Always been curious about this, directed by John Hass Roberts. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit short of breath. I'm, I'm almost done. 47 meters down in cage, the sequel, because they were both like two bucks. Blinded by the Light, directed by Gurinder Chada, who also did Bend It Like Beckham. So yeah. Pretty, I'm a bit curious about this. Mile 22 with Mark Wahlberg. Heard only awful things about this. It's the same director, Peter Berg, as uh, Lone Survivor, Deepwater Horizon, um, Patriot's Day. Very curious if this is any good. Steelbook of Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. You I already own it. Still wanted to have it. Got a couple 4K Blu-rays. Got Hostiles. Saw this in the theater. Very good theater experience. Very loud. Very crunchy. 
combat and all that, and 4K was only three bucks. And the last one, the Hurricane Heist. I already own it on Blu-ray. I'd like to see it in 4K. Um, pretty great effects. Um, pretty good performances. To uh, Toby Kebbell, Maggie Grace, Ryan Quant, and Ralph Ineson was a fun villain. A movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's about this subject matter. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna end it there, and I hope everybody has a good day, night, or whatever.